Well, I just got my watering completed. Like I said, to enjoy that beauty, you have to give back. You just can't be a taker in life. You wouldn't enjoy the, the foliage on those flowers unless you maintained them and watered them. And there's no money involved other than your paycheck is the beauty when you come down. It's the same way with archery. And I read these books, Hunting with a Bow and Arrow by Saxton Pope. If people like Saxton Pope and Art Young, Fred Bear, and one of the biggest givers of all was Ishi, native Indian that Saxton Pope came upon uh, in his medical field, Ishi gave so much to the modern day bow hunter, he asked nothing in return. Today, it's just the opposite. We have personalities going out in the world doing something as the Iceman uh, indicated when they found his dead frozen corpse with his bow and arrow and his hunting knife and, and, and everything intact. They've been bow hunting animals for over 5,000 years, folks. It's nothing new. So when you see these glamorous, glorified people going on these uh, fixed hunts and then trying to promote their personality so they can push product, that's not what it's all about. You need to go out in your field of our fellow archers and give back to them. Give your information openly, honestly, and freely. Fred Bear did that his entire life to promote archery. He knew some of his patents were being uh, infringed upon, but he didn't really care because his philosophy, so it be. That just means there's more people interested in the sport and activity of archery and bow hunting in general. But today, all these people are prostituting the art of bow hunting and, and uh, for a personal gain. You can tell, turn on the television set on any given day and see volumes of these so-called experts doing what the Native American Indians did over 200 years ago or longer. So what's new about that? Here's what they're not doing. They're not passing it on. They don't spend any of their own monies that I know of to uh, encourage other people to get into the sport. Oh, they'll, they'll uh, give a talk or a seminar if you, if you compensate them for it, and that's all wrong. The biggest compensate you can get, the biggest reward is when you give freely of yourself, monetarily and physically, and someone comes up and you can't remember their name, but they know your name, and they've, you made a lifelong impression on them. That's your paycheck in this short thing called life. Uh, I know a gentleman that's handcrafted several youth bows. Never put them on the market. He's an astute gentleman in archery. He gives them away to the youth. That's the foundation. Unfortunately, some of the youth are not blossoming into what we thought they would become, givers herself. They're still takers. Don't be a taker in life. Give back. Give from the heart, as Mother Teresa said. Give till it hurts. If you believe in something, then go out and if you want, if you see a problem with it and you want to resolve it, put your money where your mouth is, put your effort where your money is, and get it resolved. And your paycheck will be that you know that when you leave this earth that you did something positive for the sport you dearly beloved. But don't always have to be put your hand out to be compensated. There's too way too much of that product pushing now. And it's, it's appalling. There's people out there that have agents that are put their name from toilet paper to bubble gum or in and everything in between. They don't even know anything about the products. Fred Bear, Ben Pearson, Tom Jennings, those gentlemen all gave to archery through their knowledge. They all built bows. They actually gave something to the product line through their knowledge. There's so many people out there now, all they do is they want to get in front of this camera and rant about their personality and how great thou art. That's not getting it, folks. All I'm saying, if it's worth your time a day, do what you do to your flowers. Give back. Enjoy your uh, fruits of your labor by the coloration of them. You give back to your sport of bow hunting, you'll enjoy it. At least you'll know you tried. Whether it succeeds or not, it's going to be how many givers are in that crowd. And I'll tell you what, it seems like it's getting less and less and more takers. And when the takers overrule the givers, then uh, I don't want to know what's going on in that era of bow hunting. So that's it from the non-typical Norwalkian. Keep on hunting.